Right. So now we're continuing on. We are going to emit particles from this object and get those particles to emit from this white band that we have going. Okay. Switching over to your FX menu set. Select the object. It's dragon we've got. And end particles emit from object. Okay, now remember, when you do that, by default, your emitter type is set to Omni. And what that does is it will emit from every single vertex that you have here. So every vertex becomes an emitter. And we don't want that because that's very problematic. Um, it, it's hard to predict or control how many particles you have. So what you do is you go to your emitter. You can find your emitter here in your outliner. This is our dragon, right? The plus sign right here. If you open that up, underneath you'll see your emitter. And switch your emitter type to surface. So now it's emitting from the entire surface and not simply up from, from every vertex. I just want to make sure my settings are right for every frame, free. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Okay. Then I'm going to pick, uh, say, a higher number, 25,000 particles. Okay, so that's a lot. If I go to my nucleus, I'll turn off gravity for now. Okay. And then we want to emit only from this band of white. And to do that, in your emitter, scroll down. There's a section called texture emission attributes. This is sometimes closed. You might have to open it up. Just open that up and turn on enable texture rate what that does is it's telling my uh, okay i'm going to look at the texture and i'm going to emit only from the white parts now it doesn't know what texture to use so in your hyper shade you grab the ramp that you just used okay let's organize this Set the surface shader. Here we go. Okay, so this one wrap. Back to your emitter, and then we middle mouse drag and drop this into texture. So now Maya knows it's going to emit from uh, an image, and it knows what image to use. In this case, it's the wrap. So now you can see it's only emitting as the white part appears. Now you can notice there aren't that many particles. Okay? Even though our rate is currently at 25,000. That's because this is still working on the assumption that it's emitting from the entire surface. Okay, So it's 25,000 particles from the surface per second. But it's only emitting at any given time from the white part. So it's only emitting from a small part of the entire surface. So we're going to need to bump this up. Let's say 525,000. There you go. Oops. See, so that looks better. All right, and then from here, we'll tackle the look of the particles next, and we'll talk about some fields.